what's popping in the world of young Hollywood. Yo, what's up, Pop Stop TV? <laughs> Hi, Nappy Tabs. How are you guys? Wonderful, Fantastic. wonderful. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. How could you not be better? I mean, you are almost, you're almost there, it looks like. I am literally almost there. I went to the doctors yesterday. I'm two centimeters dilated. I could go at any moment. I have my bags in the She's car. She's having contractions now, I feel like. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'll try not to excite no, you too much. Yeah, I know. No, it's yeah. all this good. We're ready to have it. too excited. I could give birth on dance day, and it could be perfect. Nigel would be so pleased. <laughs> that would be so perfect. I would love that idea. Let's do it. Let's hurry it along then. I will make you excited. <laughs> How much exercise and dance have you been able to do? Because you seem like you just, like he was saying, you have a bowling ball in there, and no, I, I don't see it in your face. I don't see it in your arms. How are you doing it? Well, I, I, you know, I honestly think that the, the message behind dance day is, you know, physical activity is good for everybody's health, whether you're professional or not. I, my whole pregnancy, I've been on the go. I've been on my feet. I've been feeling fine. Dancing, I've, dancing wearing high heels still. Keeping my weight down. <laughs> and, and it, you know, I, I listen to myself. So if I wasn't feeling well, I wouldn't do anything that was dangerous. I would never want to jeopardize this. But I felt fine because I think I was fit because I dance. So I'm very, very, very lucky. Dance is great exercise for sure. Um, would you be upset or um, kind of surprised if your child wasn't interested in dance or if he, say, no. hated dance? No, not at all. He can do whatever he wants. He's actually campaigning for, like, athletic. Yeah, you know, basketball, basketball, football, basketball, track, yeah. baseball, soccer, anything. Okay, a jock. I like that. He wants to go the jock route. But, but then he can dance because it gives some coordination mm -hmm. and it and it gives him good body positioning and uh, I know he's gonna like music because the entire pregnancy I've been listening to music very loudly everywhere I work everywhere I go not so. on purpose we don't throw it on his ears but <laughs> no, I think but it, just going it. from one job to the next everything is really loud music and yeah he's he, he definitely is when we sit down he's like where's the music where's the music and starts kicking and moving when it's still and quiet is when he moves the most I love it. A dancing jock and a rambunctious, apparently. That's right, that's right. <laughs> you guys are such a power couple in Hollywood. How do you do it? What is the secret? Tell me. Um, gosh, I don't even know if there's a secret. I think we just, we, we're lucky because we love what we do. Um, we've been doing it together for so long, so we're almost yeah. so used to being a couple doing it. It wasn't like I had my career, he had his career, and now we're trying to figure out how to work together. We grew together. We grew together, it. so it's just second nature. So we're very lucky. Like I mean, when, I, when I say people, you know, when we're, when we're out and about, we keep it really, we're very professional and people go oh, I saw you holding hands you guys are cute but when we're at home I kid you not we hold hands in the house like when and we, we go to the dance kitchen. a lot in the kitchen and we do our slow dance and it's uh, it's corny it's pathetic all right yeah so basically there's no secret and you know I just have to find an amazing guy all right well so Nigel was saying last week that he kind of wanted to see like the more gritty the grittier version of hip-hop come back in uh, to the choreography do you guys think that maybe um, being pregnant and having a baby is sort of changing your style a little bit um, not really. I mean, I think it's changing our motivation for the themes that we want to go with. You know, like obviously we did a baby theme this week, but the, if you were to strip away the crib and put them in a hoodie, they were doing some grimy stuff. So yeah, the movement was the movement really, was really, grimy. really grimy, but we wanted to offset that a little bit with, uh, you know, with I, something that had a cute thing in it. And, and we always tell stories, so we kind of, that's our, I guess our downfall in a way because you know we could just go out there and slam out choreography for no reason but we always get so motivated by a story so well and it's so relevant because how can you be pregnant and be like you know breaking it down really hard you well know? she does uh, uh, you ain't lying you she should was, see me in rehearsal this all girl. came from her that little move <laughs> they do back and forth yeah. so, and then the, the second routine we did that night was was really dark and a little bit more into that dreary kind of world so you know at the same time I didn't want to do two dark numbers especially the first song was really the, the song itself is really gritty and rough, so I was like, eh, we shouldn't just do two of them like that. Let's be different, so. Have some variety in there. Yeah. Well, it was really nice talking to you guys. Have a good night, and don't go into labor in the theater. Okay, I'll try not to. Do you hear that, kid? I think she does. I'm ready. We have the bags in the car. They're packed, and we're ready. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.